everyone, welcome to a new week and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. If you've never been here before, thank you for clicking on. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get a chance to check out some of my other stuff. If you watch all the time, you already know I'm Austin, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm ready for an amazing video today. So a few weeks back I put up a poll on my Twitter asking if you guys would like to see kind of an ASOS boohoo haul or if you'd like to see me do a video about how to learn to wear more color if you love wearing the color black, which is something that I am still learning, um, but I'm making progress on as you can see. So when I did this it was about 50-50, ASOS came out a little bit on top, so I did film that haul video, I'll link it below if you haven't seen it yet if you want to watch it, but I didn't forget about this one, um, this came in at like 47% or something like that, so I know there were a decent amount of you who really wanted to see it, and here I am making it happen for you. But I thought I would basically show you guys my kind of main primary rack of clothing and what kind of colors are on here and how I got to this point. If you knew me about, I don't know, 18 months ago, I think that the majority of this would be black, and I think I can safely say I've narrowed it down to about a third. Um, give or take some patterns, which I will get into in a little bit, which is pretty impressive for me as someone who just like loves black, it's kind of a go-to color, it's basic, it's really easy for anyone to wear. I can't say enough good things about it, basically. Um, but I have actually expanded my horizons a little bit. Even today you can see I am wearing just a black belt, um, nothing too overall heavy or dark in color today. But I thought I would take the time to kind of show you how I got to this stage and some of the things that maybe you can think about in your own closets if you're looking to lighten up a little bit. So before we even get to the clothing, the first thing that I actually did for myself was make a list of colors that I liked not thinking about clothes. I kind of thought about interiors, I thought about different things that I've seen out in the world, out in the city, um, and maybe even things that I've seen other people wear. And from there I kind of made like a mini mental checklist in my head of like, okay, this one, this one, this one. So that then when I went out shopping or I was maybe browsing online for stuff, if I saw anything that caught my eye in that color, I immediately kind of went to it and investigated to see if it was like something that I wanted to wear into my wardrobe as well. And that's kind of at least the general thought process of how to start thinking outside of like defaulting to black for everything. Once I did that and I identified colors that I really liked, I also started to think about silhouettes that I really liked and looking for things that I loved and wore all the time that I typically would buy in black, but instead maybe trying them in one of those different colors to see what I thought of it and how it looked and if it was something that I could see myself wearing more. Another super easy way to start wearing color is to kind of think in your head of fabrics that you really like because some fabrics kind of have a color that's already associated with them. So for example, leather is black probably, which is why most of my leather jackets, things like that, I do tend to buy in black still. But maybe denim, for example, where blue is a color typically associated with denim, is an opportunity for you to take a fabric that you already know you love and like and then apply it to other parts of your wardrobe. So I thought I would take the opportunity to kind of go through this rail of stuff and show you some pieces that I think in my head I could see like, oh, I would totally buy this if it were in black, but why not take a chance and kind of buy it in a different color to see if I can expand my closet vocabulary. I think I mentioned this earlier, but basically the way that this is set up right now is I have maybe a third white over here. Then I kind of have a color section in the middle, so kind of more bright colors, um, and I'll get into why I chose the ones that are here. And then keeping my black kind of clothing on the side back here, um, obviously still very accessible and easy for me to get at, but it's not necessarily the color that dominates my clothing rack anymore. So I thought I'd start off by maybe showing you something like this. This is a lace camisole tank top thing from Forever 21. Um, and it has this lace detail in the front. This is not seamed or ironed, so excuse that. But it's definitely one of those pieces that I could totally see myself buying in black, thinking like, oh, this is like great for a night out, blah blah blah. But for the summer, it's really great to wear with like denim, like light wash denim, maybe even dark wash denim or black denim. And it can just lighten up the outfit, because if you are going to wear this with black skinny jeans, then it's nice to kind of have some contrast on top and kind of rock something else. It's like black's opposite. So in a sense, like white is probably a great color for if you are not ready to get into like vibrant pigmented colors yet. Um, you might want to try adding like some white to your wardrobe. 
Here's another example of something that I actually do own this in black as well, so I can't fully say that this replaces it. But, you know, just to have like a white t-shirt as an alternative to a black t-shirt can definitely change up an outfit. This one um, is kind of has this like texture to it. It's also from Forever 21. If I can find a similar one to you, I'll link it down below. Forever 21 is one of those websites where I could scroll through it for days and still not find the thing I'm looking for. But I'll definitely try to get you something similar. And yeah, it's just like a kind of more boxy shaped top and it's a little bit cropped, which I love because it's perfect to wear with like high-waisted jeans or a high-waisted skirt, something like that. You may recognize this top from my LF sale video haul that was part of the ASOS Boohoo haul. I'll link that video again below if you want to check it out. Um, but red is a color that I really love for beauty. I love a good red lip and so that's why like sometimes when I'm thinking about, oh, I wonder if I have a red lip for this outfit, if I could also wear a red top, like if that would just kind of be the kind of ultimate dramatic statement to make. So that's why I kind of was drawn to this. I also just love the shape. As you can see, I'm a big fan of long billowy sleeves. This one kind of ties in here and then has like a flounce out. So that's really cool. And this is also an off the shoulder top, which it's hung up right now, so you can't really tell. But um, that's another silhouette that I really love. And I was thinking, okay, like I do have actually A plain black off the shoulder top which appears to be inside out but you know so it's like oh I already know I love this in black but maybe I can find it in like a bit more of a bold color make a bit more of a statement um, it also helps I think for me that this isn't just plain red that there's a pattern going on so that when I want to pair it with something else which probably would be like black shorts or black jeans I actually did wear this out recently to an oyster happy hour with Helen with black shorts um, it just kind of adds something extra to it, which I really like, so you can take kind of that starting out silhouette that you love and then try it in a new color. One color that's kind of become very ubiquitous, definitely over the summer and definitely within the last year, is this kind of blush pink, or as some like to call it, millennial pink. And I really do love this shade. I love it for like interiors, I love it for beauty, especially like eyeshadow, I think it's so pretty. And so I have been buying, as you can see right here, a decent amount of clothing that kind of comes in this color. Um, this dress is from Heartloom and you can see it has like some lace detail here and a crisscross here and then it kind of tags along the back as well but it's very like strappy and it's very kind of lingerie like. I feel like this if this came in black it would be a totally different vibe it would be like a little bit too intense but since it's in this blush pink color it has that like girlier vibe to it it's definitely a lot softer and yeah, I've actually definitely gotten some use out of this already, so that's um, definitely another thing also. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the entire world to wear is a biker jacket, and even though I typically gravitate towards buying that silhouette in black, not this past LF sale, but the LF sale before that, I was walking around and I saw this, and it is the softest pink suede and it has this like belt detail here, it has these zippers and kind of unfinished hems over here. It's just so like slouchy and perfect and oh my god, I wore this so much in the spring. It was great. I'm actually looking forward to it getting cold again because I want to break this back out. And it's from a brand called Evie. I, this again is from last year's LF. If I can try to find something similar, I'll link it below so you can see. But this is just one of those things where it's like, this is the absolute perfect silhouette, like, I wish they made this in black also, maybe they do, um, because I would totally buy it in black, but yeah, since it's like that silhouette that I already knew I loved, I was kind of like, okay, I'll take a chance and I'll try it in the blush pink color and see, like, how much I wear it and if I really like it, and I wear it so much, because even if I decide to have a day where I'm wearing black t-shirt, black jeans, by throwing this on, it just kind of, like, lightens everything up and it adds that different touch to it, and this is definitely something that I don't think as many people would have. I think everyone has some version of a black biker jacket. So this also made me feel like more unique and made me feel like I could stand out too. Another thing I wanted to talk about is patterns that you really like. Um, because even though this isn't actually black, this is navy, but it could look possibly black on camera, it has like a darker base to it. It's such a fun summery print. This is a jumpsuit that I got from Nasty Gal. I do believe I have a link to it, so I'll give you guys that. 
and I don't know, I wanted something like this all summer, and this is like a silhouette that I would love to wear in black as well, but just having a pattern makes it so much more fun, and I also get so many more like people talking to me about it. Everyone wants to know about this jumpsuit, everyone wants to know where it's from. It has this kind of tie right here with a bit of a keyhole situation, and then it has these ruffles along here. Right now this is just like my ideal jumpsuit proportions. The pants start a little bit higher up, it's a little more high-waisted, so the legs and the flow really comes out and makes you look super tall and super beautiful and super awesome. I love this jumpsuit. Going back to what I was saying a little bit earlier in the video about fabrics that already have a color to them, denim is one of them. So even though there might be a little black dress somewhere out in the world that is black and that is this shape and has this cute fray detail at the bottom, um, it's kind of fun to have it in this denim as well. I've been wearing this a lot this summer. I've been wearing it over just a white t-shirt or with a flannel tied around it for more of like a grungy vibe. And I am, yeah, just super obsessed with it. I'm sorry, I just had to grab something from the UPS guy. Where was I? But again, this is just like so cute, so simple, and by doing it in denim, it just like is a great way to add something different. Same thing kind of goes for this denim jacket. If I turn it around, I think you'll all know what it is if you follow me on Instagram. This is probably one of the most asked about things that I wear. It is a denim jacket with fringe detail on the back from ASOS. And when I saw this denim fringe jacket, I just knew it was meant to be. Knew it. And so that's why this one has been something I really love. And rather than throw on like another black layer that kind of like, again, darkens the whole outfit, to throw this on is very like summery and fun and I am totally obsessed with it. So if you've been watching this video so far and think it's total nonsense and I don't know what I'm talking about and black is like the top ultimate color, I totally hear what you're saying. But I think that even if you are a diehard fan of black and wearing black, that patterns can kind of ease you into the idea of color. So I'll show you a few that I really like right now that have patterns going on with them and see if maybe I can change your mind. Okay, so one of the things that I tend to wear a lot is mesh tops, and a lot of them come in black, so I want to show you two really quickly that I love. The first is this one, it's by a brand called Seek, which might be Australian. This is also from an old LF sale, and my sleeve is rolled up here, I will unroll it so then I can show you. Yeah, so even though this is a black top, it does have this awesome embroidered rose detail here, which kind of just adds something very different and unexpected to it. And this is really fun. You can even like lighten this up by wearing a lighter color underneath here. Maybe you want to wear red or maybe you want to wear white or something like that. I usually do just wear like a black camisole under here because kind of going against the point of this video, but black goes with everything. <laughs> so that's kind of one option if you want to lighten up, um, but you're not ready to totally ditch black. Next one is also a blush black mesh long sleeve top. <laughs> Water words. So yeah, this one is great because it's also kind of like a sheer mesh top, and again, you could wear maybe like a black camisole underneath it or a white camisole, whatever your mood is, maybe even a gold camisole. But yeah, this is definitely another great alternative um, if you're trying to like work some more color into your routine, and as you can see, it has like these sparkly gold stars on it, so it's really cute to just wear. Um, for a night out or anything like that, so maybe that's another option. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this romper from Toby. It is off the shoulder and it has long sleeves and shorts, and I really like it because I love this kind of black fabric with the light pastel floral pattern. I think this is a cool way to add color too because I would never really wear like purple per se, so to have like the purple in here is a fun way to work that color in without it kind of taking over the whole outfit. And again, since it's a silhouette that I already know I love, this is another great way to add in some color. And there you have it. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you have a bunch of new ways to maybe incorporate some color into your wardrobe, whether that's kind of starting off small with just a pattern, or playing off of beauty looks that you know you love, or playing off of colors that you love seeing in like interior design, anything like that and that maybe you'll try something that's not black next time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below, tell me that you liked it in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other future videos that I may come out with. I always take suggestions for videos, so if you have any, definitely let me know. And thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye!